Hey, what's up everyone? This is Corey, and we're about to get to the bottom of some business here. Now, there's this restaurant down in Atlanta called Sean's, and um, the actual owner is named Sean's, of course, hence the name. And um, it's right next to Youth Pride. And um, I heard that the owner of this restaurant was getting all uh, worked up at a Youth Pride volunteer. It even got to the point where he was kind of, uh, you know, he started acting out, and he started kind of, uh, you know, acting aggressive towards this Youth Pride volunteer to the point where, you know, they thought he was going to attack. Uh, youth Pride got a permit to uh, do some kind of a parade, and, um, you know, I need to really do my research on this. I'll get back to you in just a second. Alrighty then, I should have done a little bit of research and uh, studied things a little bit before starting a video. Okay, Youth Pride requested a permit to shut down Edgewood between Elizabeth and Hurd Street. This Sean guy was apparently verbally abusive against Youth Pride volunteers, and he got the permit revised to limit the space uh, that Youth Pride could have their community carnival thing on. Now, according to the website, Sean's Restaurant, he, he supports this organization called Believe in Me. It's like for autistic kids, I think. And he's also gone to culinary schools across Europe. So why in the hell is a man with this kind of education who owns his own business acting immature and threatening people? and just acting like a playground bully in kindergarten. I don't know. We're, we're about to call him and find out, and I'm about to give him a damn piece of my mind. Sean? Hi, can I speak to Sean Doty, please? Yes, ma'am. Uh, my name is Corey Lovins. All right. Best not keep me on hold for long. Hi, my name is Corey Lovins, and I'm calling you regarding an incident that happened earlier at, with a Youth Pride volunteer. Um, listen, I'm in the middle of work. You're going to have to take me a second. Okay? Oh, so you don't have time to uh, hear my complaint? That son of a bitch hung up on me. Uh-uh. No, ma'am, I do not play that. I believe we're about to have to call him back. Damn restaurant hanging up on my ass. Shit. Yes, I want to know why I was just hung up on. Um, what are you talking about? I was just talking to your uh, owner of your restaurant there. I trying to ask him a question about something, and he hung up on me. Yeah, but what if I was a customer though, and I needed, <laughs> and I had something to say? These people are rude as hell. Shoot, I ain't even gonna try it again because these people are being rude. But obviously, Sean doesn't want to talk about the incident, and he's going to be an immature little baby about it. Well, I've got some information for Sean. The way you verbally berated Youth Pride volunteers, you know, I may have acted like that when I was about 12 or 13 years old, but I eventually learned how to grow up and move above and beyond that kind of behavior. So if you're going to be the owner of a restaurant, then you best start acting respectful to people and quit acting like you're a damn 11-year-old kid on the playground. You know, Youth Pride, they do a lot of good things for gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgendered youth. They help out a lot of kids that are homeless. They have been kicked out of the streets. They have been kicked out on the streets by their parents. And some of them are really, really depressed and even suicidal. And for you to, you know, take away some of their room to the second half of their carnival, that's just highly inappropriate, immature, and just unprofessional. So I'm hereby supporting a boycott on Sean's restaurant. 